The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, we're gonna be taking a look at are the brand new Football Outsiders cards. We've got a Matt Stafford here that's an 88 overall with the deep pass chemistry or deep threat, excuse me, chemistry. I mean, this is definitely one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now. I think some people might even argue that it's the best quarterback in the game right now, given the fact that there are the glitches with the mobile quarterbacks or with every quarterback trying to scramble out of the pocket and take off and run you've got like the little you know glitch sideways animation thing going on still uh, and because of that I think most people are still kind of dealing with that and, and utilizing a lot of the pocket passers so because of that I actually think that you could argue that this Matt Stafford is definitely one of the best quarterbacks like I said if not the best quarterback in the game right now but I want to say that I'm still not like overly excited about this card right now um, basically guys what we want to do here obviously this is week one so what you're looking at are kind of the best players based on the football outsiders website and kind of how they rate players and things like that so uh, if you go in here and take a look at your sets you're gonna see a football outsider set for week one now there was also one uh, earlier in the year, and then you could get an 86 Thomas Rawls. Again, not really a great card. But this Matt Stafford one is a little bit interesting, I think, right now. Um, so basically, guys, if you take a look at these uh, at the set, you're, what you need to complete it are five Football Outsiders badges, which you can only pull out of packs. And then you also need to get each of these four players. So uh, there's Tony Jefferson, Willie Sneed, Levante David, and then Laurent. Deverne Tardif. I'm, I'm so bad. I don't even think I've ever heard of him, to be honest with you, which is a little bit surprising considering how much football I watch. But, um, uh, you know, obviously he hasn't really been too relevant in the past because I haven't heard of him. But uh, with that being said, guys, basically you've got to put all of these cards in and then you get the Matt Stafford. So uh, take a look at the price of some of these here. You've got a pretty cheap one here. Obviously they're going to go up in price as, as you go up in on, um, the actual overall of the card that you're pulling but 4800 for him um and then let's see here tony jefferson take a look at what he's going for right now you can get him for four thousand that's actually pretty damn cheap it's probably one of the better cards uh that they've done for football outsiders so far but he's a little bit slow so only about eight eighty five hundred nine nine thousand somewhere in that range for the two of them then you move up to about seven thousand for willie sneed and then Levante David is the expensive one. I think I saw him going for right around 20K. Yeah, this one is a little bit more expensive than what I was looking at before, but 23K. I, I definitely saw one for 19K before. So if you stayed on and uh, you try and snipe this thing, I think you could get it for around 19K at, at the most. Um, so if you take a look at those prices, really not that expensive to get this thing done. Um, you know, like I said, what, what is that? 28 plus maybe another, you know, 35 to, to 40,000 at the very most for the player. And then uh, you're, well, no, excuse me. I'm sorry. Let me think here. Uh, yeah, no, actually, that's about right. Um, so, yeah, the, you know, 40000 at the at the most, I would say, you would have to pay right now if, if you uh, snipe a little bit on the Levante David. And then take a look at these Football Outsiders badges because these are the things that I'm a little bit frustrated about because they're actually pretty damn rare. Like, it's actually quite hard to pull these. I, I have never pulled one yet. And, you know, that, that should go to tell you something. But, you know, take a look at these here. You need six of them, remember, to complete this. So it's going to cost you, let's say, let's say 8000 on average, okay, if you sit and, and wait and snipe and things like that. So you're looking at about 50000 or so for those. So we're still looking at only about a 90000 coin card to create. So this is actually, I think, an opportunity right now because this Matt Stafford is actually going for quite a bit more than that. So you can make some quick profit right now if you got the coins to go in and be able to purchase them, uh, the, the items. If you go in here and you take a look at the Matt Stafford, again, we're going to take a look at this thing and, um, and see the attributes and things like that. But this Matt Stafford right now is actually going for, let's see here, cheapest one is 126000 Like I said, costs about 90000 That's being a, even a little bit conservative to create. So if you were to create it right now, you're giving yourself about 35,000 35, coins of profit. Now, obviously, there's a 10% tax from EA when you sell this card, but still, you're still profiting about 20,000, 25,000 coins 
when you do this so that is not bad at all i think this is actually a quick way to make some decent coins obviously this thing has to sell in order for you to get those coins but it looks like since i've been looking at mudhead's uh, updated auction block uh this thing has been selling for 120 to 130,000 coins regularly so again you got to probably be one of the first people to see this video if you're going to want to do this or, uh, you know, obviously look into it yourself. But it's definitely something that is possible to do to make some quick coins and uh, kind of boost up your team if you're looking to do that. Now, I will say I actually don't think that this card is worth anything near what it's going for right now. So I do think that there might be a little bit of a market correction on this. This thing's going for, you know, 100,000 coins, almost more than the, uh, the 87, which came out recently. This is the puzzle piece, Matthew Stafford. If you take a look at the attributes on it, it's really quite similar to the one that we're going to be getting here. Um, if you take a look at like all of the uh, passing attributes that he has here, throw accuracy deep, throw accuracy mid, throw accuracy short, um, and then uh, obviously throw power as well. He's, he's very, very similar to the one that we're getting here which again is you know 80,000 90,000 100,000 depending on when you're looking at it more expensive now he does have the 94 throw power on this one he's he's better everywhere basically on this card so i'm not saying that the other one's better by any means but i just don't think it's worth the price difference so if you're actually looking to get a matt stafford card i would go with the other one unless you just have a ton of coins to burn but if you're looking to make a profit i actually think that you can do it like i said on completing this football outsider set so with that being said, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. If you did, do me a quick favor and drop a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much for your support, and I will talk to you guys again 